Hi everybody, welcome to Eat Prime for this evening. I am Daydran. The Island Music Conference, IMC praised for its success and impact. According to attendees, which included artists and industry professionals from across the Caribbean, the week-long conference held in Kingston addressed key issues within the music industry and provided insight which can significantly propel Jamaica and the Caribbean's entertainment sector forward. Now, Minister of Culture and Entertainment Olivia Babsy Grange, who was in attendance and also served as a panelist, shared with E-Prime how artists can capitalize on these opportunities. It's an important component of Reggae Month. And the conference really is to assist the creative artist in terms of knowledge. Massacre, who was also a panelist, expressed thankfulness for the knowledge departed. I know it's a great feeling to be alongside the icons and some informative people, you know and I mean, some great people in the industry. So it's always a blessing to share the moments with my Jamaican people, you know and I mean, and for just there every time. IMC covered topics such as the role of artificial intelligence, AI in the music industry, and featured influential figures in the industry from international labels, plus high profile Caribbean crossover artist Wycliffe Jean. Now, the creative industry to boost GDP and job creation. Minister of Culture and Entertainment Olivia Grange says Jamaica's creative industry has the potential to exponentially grow the economy and create jobs. The UN has estimated that the global creative industries generate in excess of two trillion US dollars in annual revenues and account for nearly 15 million direct and indirect jobs. So the creative economy is therefore alive and kicking. And we must not only punch, but stomp our mark way above our weight class. She made the remarks while speaking during the third edition of the Jamaica Creative Career Expo last week at the Jamaica Conference Center in downtown Kingston. Minister Grange noted that in 2022, the sector generated some $2.2 billion in revenue and accounted for 5.2% of the island's GDP, as well as 3% of direct and indirect employment. The Planning Institute of Jamaica figures for the second quarter of that financial year indicated that Jamaica's economy grew by an estimate estimated 17 billion in the quarter prior and the only thing that could account for the sharp increase was the temporary opening of the entertainment sector the sector was temporarily open from june to august 2020 now, Beyonce secures her ninth solo leader atop Billboard's Hot 100 with her country-infused track, Texas Hold'em. The song is one of two that she released earlier this month, the other being 16 Carriages. Now, a week earlier, the single became B's historic first number one on the multi-metric Hot Country Song Survey. Prior to this, no black woman or female known to be biracial had previously topped the chart. Queen B. The Jennifer Lopez tops Billboard's album sales chart with her ninth studio album, This Is Me. This becomes her third number one atop the chart and her first lead in over 20 years. Jayla was last at number one when Jay to the Elo, the remixes, spent two weeks on the charts in February and March of 2002. She secured her first number one on the list with Jayla in 2001. That's it for E-Prime this evening. I am Daydran. Thank you for watching.